Good morning, my name is Prue or Prue Larue and today I thought I need to give this palette a whirl and I might as well knock in a Flower Beauty Illusion Foundation review and wear test today. Just gonna find it. So let's just go in. I'm gonna just quickly do most of my face um, going under the Hourglass Veil Primer. Now the, uh, the Flower Illusion is quite, I'm quite oily. And it's quite a luminous foundation that does get me oily later in the day. So the Hourglass Veil will hopefully just help mattify because this one's quite probably my most mattifying primer I'd say. I'm going to go on my MAC Prep and Prime stick. I just really like this for under the eyes sometimes and to cover like any pores. I just find it creates a really nice effect. I don't know if you can see that though. So the Hourglass Light Illusion Foundation, I've used this quite a fair bit. I've got it in the shade Ivory O2 and I'm just going to go in with my brush. You can kind of see it's quite a nice luminous foundation with what I would call like medium medium coverage so I'm just going to go in with my hourglass dim light which is this fella y'all oh gosh I, this is what happens when I get up too early concealer so I'm just using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in almond That one has landed itself a bit streaky. Awesome. Ah, right, now I'm going to go into the powder. Alright, so because it's a work look, I'm just going to go in with my Flower Pots blush in Peach Primrose. Uh, just for work, I don't tend to use any bronzer or contour or anything too fancy, really. So I'm just doing this like a bit. I like some bit. So I'm just doing this in a bit of odd order. So this is um, my lipstick, Patrick Star Mac. She better work. This was just in my pink declutter, like my pink lipsticks declutter, and I was on the fence about it. So I thought I'd try it today and see what I think. Let's go in and quickly do brows. So I did pick up this, the Brow Quickie from Too Faced. And it's kind of like a, I don't fully understand it as a product. Did that do anything? Mm, I think it did actually. Intriguing. Alright, well I think these brows are good for work so I'm just going to leave them like that and not go in with a pencil. And then I'm going to go Too Faced Shadow Insurance and go into that Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is just the most reliable of my eyeshadow primers that I have. And I know it works because my eyelids get quite oily during the day. So I swatched the eyeshadows just before just to get an idea of what they are like. And I have the Dolce Vita palette. So this appears to be the Prime, no, Enhanced Smoke Prime Pop. So I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to, prime, um, I'm going to put this in my crease, put this outer corner, this one on the lid, and then this one in the inner corner. This will be the first time I've ever used Charlotte Tilbury. I'm so excited. And I've got only minutes. I was thinking about making myself another coffee, but I don't think that'll happen. And then going in with that other shade, I'm just using the same brush just because I don't have that much time. Oh, that's a bit of a shimmer. I didn't see that coming. Alright, and I'm just going to go on with fingers. I know this isn't everyone's favourite ones, but going in fingers on that one. I just don't have much time. 
because if I speed up, I can go make myself a coffee right now. And I'm just super curious on the wear time of these. How this? In a corner, shiny one. So just going on with this one and then going this one. I'm going to say these shades are quite beautiful. I'm heating up. Spray myself down. Even to case it slips through. Brows. Oh, mascara. And then I'm off. Long comb hypnose. Alright, this is my final work look. Let's bring you in. It's just like a super quick look. Alright, anyway, I'm going to come back for a wear test and show you how the eyeshadow wore, how the foundation wore, and we'll talk about them both later. Alright, see you soon. Alright, well, let's round up this quick little review. I hope you don't mind me doing two products. I just really, these were ones that I wanted to test out together. So, the... Let's talk about the Light Illusion foundation. This is really good and this would be perfect if you are not oily. I'd say normal to even like dry because it does get quite luminous as you can see. If you go back and watch my video that talks about what I wear for my makeup base, um, just during the day I use the MAC Studio Fix NW18 and powder down. And in that video I sort of show you the stages on my face. Because as you can see, I get very sweaty and when you do this throughout the day it's just it's oh, it's hard but so I usually find that any foundation doesn't tend to stay in this center of my face the concealer it seems to have faded but overall I think the foundation looks quite good I wouldn't wear this every day because it is just like too a little bit too luminous for me I do tend to like the colour and the way it looks on me. So it stays because I like the look, but I'm not super into like how oily I feel with it sometimes. So I wouldn't recommend it if you were oily like me, though I keep using it, I don't understand. Oh, kitty cat. Marceline, Marceline, what are you doing? Come over here. Come up here. Yeah. So the Citiberry, oh, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad. So um, it's now 4:50. I did my face about 6:30. So so just over 10 hours where I did take a picture and I'll insert that now. So I took a picture at about 11 a.m. and the eyeshadow had already moved. This doesn't always tend to happen to me with eyeshadows. I did, however, get extremely sweaty in the first couple hours on my shift. And what I find is I sort of sweat and it like beads in here. But generally, a lot of eyeshadows do last throughout that process. This is not one of them. So let's bring you in so you can see. It's been so long since I've done a wet test. <laughs> oh, and let's talk about this brow product as well. I think I'm actually kind of like into it. I don't know. I like it. What do you think? Did it do anything? I feel like it did something. Anyway, so you can see where it's transferred and then moved here. Transfer doesn't tend to bother me too much. Loss of products is what bothers me. So we've got a big loss here and a big loss here. But it does look alright going forward. And then this one just got yuck. I feel bad even showing this to you. But it just got gross. So... I did find myself like looking at the glitter effect of this brown eyeshadow, like this one here, which I assume is pop. Throughout the day, I don't like how deep I went for a work look. Normally I would go a lot lighter. This is probably just a bit too dramatic for me. So it's not going to be a new work palette at all for me, which being neutrals will tend to be the main time that I would use something like this. But it, to be my new work palette, it has to beat out the old, this old classic, which just caters to everything. And I find that these are not, you know, they're nice shimmers and last quite a long time. So, 
I don't think I would be impressed if I had spent the amount of money it was to get on this palette, but because it was from the Beautylish box, I'm happy to add it to my collection. It will likely stay in it, but, and I will probably keep trying it out, but at the moment, I don't think too highly of it, but I do have extremely oily lips. So if you don't tend to have that problem, you know, but yeah. But I do really love that shimmer shade. It's quite special. And yeah. Anyway, and this brow product that has lasted through a huge amount of sweating. I'm super excited to see the footage coming back. I'd love your thoughts on it. Anyway, let me know any of your thoughts on anything that I have talked about today. I'd absolutely appreciate it. I'd absolutely love to hear what you think. And let me know. Also, someone asked me the other day, so I am a... Sorry, just like sidetrack. So I am a registered nurse and I work in intensive care. This is probably the most makeup I would go to work with. And that's just because of the scenarios that I look after patients in. But it is individual to everyone. Um, I'd love to know what you think of nurses wearing makeup when they're looking after you. <laughs> I'm just super curious. Like, how would you feel if you woke up after surgery and the nurse had a green smoky eye? Would it be awesome or would it be weird? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.